Hey guys, Amy Allen here, Start on the Coach with Beachbody, and today is day four of Success Club Week, and what I'd like to talk to you about today is a follow-up of what we talked about yesterday. Yesterday, I wanted to talk to you all about how I hit Success Club every month, and I really focused on challenge groups and how challenge groups are important to hitting Success Club. But today, I wanted to t break that down even a little bit more and talk about what is the most important part, which is inviting people. Um, now, you might know, um, you should know, that the three Beachbody Vital Behaviors are number one, invite people, number two, be proof the product works, and number three, personal development. So this video today is going to be all about inviting people. That is our number one core behavior. Invite, invite, invite. And I always say, if I'm inviting people, it's a, you know, invite, invite, invite three times. Um, I invite people to join a challenge group. I invite people to try Shakeology or I invite people to hear about the coach business opportunity. There's three different things that I invite people to. And which one I invite them to depends on the conversations that we've had. Maybe I think a challenge group is good for them. Maybe I think they just need to try Shakeology. Or maybe I legitimately think the business could be good for them because of conversations that we've had. So um, really listen to the person that you're talking to and offer them something that you think might be worthwhile in their life. Um, when I first started coaching, this was my idea of inviting. Um, I had a pre-made message that said, uh, would you like to join my challenge group, blah, blah, blah. It was like five sentences. I copied and pasted that thing and I sent it out to everybody on my contact list. And not surprisingly, I didn't really get any responses to that. Um, so it took me a while to realize that that wasn't going to work out for me. Um, the other thing that I did frequently is I um, spammed people on my personal Facebook page. So I'd say, I have a challenge group starting soon. You really want in it? And then I tag all my friends in it. Um, and it was completely sales-based. And what I learned is that I didn't have a whole lot of success follow following those strategies. And I needed to get a little bit more creative in how I invited people. So the first thing I want to talk to you about today is getting creative in how you invite people. Don't mass message people. Don't just post spammy things on your Facebook all the time. Instead, here are some ideas that you can do. Um, private message people, but genuinely get to know them. Talk to them. Don't just send them a message saying, hey, want to buy my stuff, but take time to get to know them to see if any of the products that we have will fit their needs. And then after you've talked to them and established a relationship with them, offer them the product that you have that might meet what they're looking for. Um, the second thing is, it's okay to post a Facebook status about joining your challenge group. Um, you just need to do it um, not so obviously. So maybe share results that your challengers are getting or other people on our team if you haven't had a challenge group yet. Um, we have people on our team who have lost over 100 pounds. They have incredible stories. Use those. They're there for us to share. Um, so instead of saying, hey, want to join my challenge group? Great deal. Sale, sale. Say, look at my friend Betsy. She lost almost 100 pounds. She won $1,000 as part of the Beach Body Challenge, and she did it all using whichever program in Shakeology. Um, you know, so that's a great way to get some interest in people joining your challenge groups without seeming salesy and just really lifting up a friend who's had amazing results. Um, another way that you can do it is by posting in Facebook groups that you're a part of. Um, now, this is something that, you know, so you're going to be borderline salesy. Um, and I would really encourage you to watch an amazing video my friend Rachel Luna made. Um, it's called How to Shamelessly um, Promote Your Business on Facebook. Um, so I'm not going to get into that too much here, but I will send you the link for that. And um, basically, the idea is, though, that you don't just go into a group, join it, and then post your sale every week. Um, join that group and really get to know people, offer beneficial information, genuinely connect with them, and then when you do share your offer, people are more likely to connect with it because they have connected with you already and they've seen that you offer things of value before you just post something and try to sell people on it. Um, another thing that I don't think you should underestimate is talking to people in person. Now, I have primarily built my business on social media, and I know a lot of top leaders have done that as well. But think about the people that are in your life that you see every day. Other moms, people from church, people from um, your kids' sports. There are so many people that you come into contact with every day. Do Beachbody wear and share. Um, you might notice in every one, <laughs> I can't do this, 
Um, in every video we wear, I'm wearing some sort of beach body um, clothing almost every day. And it's funny because when I first started coaching, I bought a few wear and tear things, and um, Madison was embarrassed, and she's like, you're always wearing beach body stuff. And I guess Matt didn't like it that much either. But after about six months of coaching, um, he said to me, my husband Matt, said to me, um, you know, when you first started coaching, it kind of was annoying that you wore this beach body clothes all the time. But now um, I've noticed that it really does, people really do ask you questions, and I understand why you do it. And so, um, you know, be consistent in wearing your beach body clothing when you go out and see people that you know. Um, I was at the state fair one day last year. And I went up and bought a lemonade. And the person who was selling me the lemonade saw my shirt and it said, Amy Allen, health and fitness coach. And she said, hey, are you really a health and fitness coach? And then she had all sorts of uh, questions to ask me. And then she gave me her email address. My sister was with me. And she was like, wow, I didn't realize that when you wore those shirts, people actually asked you questions. And it's true. So don't underestimate the value of wear and share. Don't underestimate the value of talking to the people that you know in person. Let them know what you're doing. Drink your Shakeology in front of them. And, you know, they'll start to ask you questions, and that's when they'll become interested, and you can offer them this opportunity as well. Um, one more thing I'm just going to touch on real quick is running fit clubs. Um, when I first started coaching, we lived in Arizona. We hadn't lived there very long, and I hardly knew anybody there. And so I decided to start a fit club. And I ran that fit club for about six months until the building went under renovation. So we took a break and then we moved. But in those six months, I met a ton of people. And a lot of them became customers or even coaches that I don't think would have otherwise because I met them in person. I connect with them one-on-one. -on -one. Now, running a fit club may not be something that all of you can do, but it's definitely an option for meeting new people, especially if you're in a place where you don't know a lot of people to start with. It's something you can advertise. Um, and get new faces in the door. And let's see, um, another way to reach out to new people is Facebook ads. I know there's some controversy about this and some people think it's not a good idea. And so all I'm gonna say about that is I have used Facebook ads. I do not spend more than $30 a month and every time I have placed one, I have gotten my money back. I have connected with people that otherwise would never have seen my Facebook posts. And um, I, I haven't lost money. I have new coaches and new customers from my Facebook ads. And so to me, it's a viable option and it's definitely something to consider if you feel like you've exhausted your current market. Although I will say most of us probably have not exhausted our current market. Um, there's probably a lot of people you know that if you sat down and thought about it, you could still reach out to. Um, there's also other social media outlets. I primarily work through Facebook, but you can work through a blog, through YouTube, through Twitter, Instagram. There's so many things out there right now that you can use to build up your contact list and reach out to more and more people. Um, so be creative. And then my number two thing is be consistent. Um, don't expect that you signed up to be a coach and now next week everybody's asking you questions about it and they want to be coaches too. That's not the way it works. I've noticed in the two years that I've been coaching, over time, more and more people will start to ask me about coaching, and a lot of times people will come to me instead of me going to them, but that didn't happen in my first few months as a coach. It didn't happen in my first six months. It was probably a year in, and after I'd been consistently posting for a year about my health journey and the products I'd been using and how much it had changed my life, people started coming to me, and they started referring their friends to me, and that was a pretty amazing thing to happen. Um, so... Let's see. Those are some of the ideas I have about how you can invite people. And um, then as far as what you're going to say, honestly, that's up to you. You know I have scripts in our um, file section of our group, and you're welcome to use those. But the main thing is you need to be confident in the product that you're selling. So if you think Shakeology is too expensive or you don't believe in it, people are going to be able to tell that when you're telling them about it. If you're not confident in the products, it won't work. I know I've heard people say a lot of times about all aspects of life, fake it till you make it. Um, maybe you don't feel like a top coach. Maybe you don't feel like um, you know, you've had great success yet. Here's what you need to do. You just need to go out there and be confident and say, I believe in this product and it rocks. I mean, obviously you really need to believe that. And I do. And I think that's been part of my success. But I am very confident in this product and I am not apologetic about the price or about anything like that because I know that it's worth every penny. So be confident in your invitation. So three C's, be creative, be consistent, and be confident. And those things I think you need to remember 
when you are inviting people to join your group. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is making a contact list. If you haven't already done that, I highly recommend that you do it. And I would strongly suggest sit down with a piece of paper and write out 200 people that you know. Everybody knows 200 people. We have a file called the Memory Jogger. If you need to use that to think of 200 people, then use it. Um, I said in the first video for Success Club, the first day, um, everybody knows 18 people, right? I know 18 people, but I know those 18 people are not all going to say yes. So start with a list of 200 people. From those 200 people, do you think you can get 18 people to say yes? Probably so. Um, so make yourself a list and then work from that list. When you contact somebody, write down what day it was. Write down what their answer was, what their questions were, their concerns. Keep a log of what you're talking to a person about because otherwise you'll forget who you've talked to and who you haven't. Um, and what I like to do is when somebody says, well, maybe next month or get back to me on payday or things like that, I take a little sticky note, I write their name on it, and I stick it on my calendar for that day. So I know that that's the day I need to follow up with them. So that's just a little extra tip that I have for you about follow-up. But make a contact list and work from it when you're inviting people. Um, personally invite people. Get to know them. Take that time to get to know them. Um, so those are, my, those are my tips for inviting. Be confident, be consistent, and be creative. And really, you know, take the time to get to know people. And I think you'll see a lot of success. So have a great week.